Hey, fellow divers, Free Diver John here. Today, we're going to be talking about something very important. As a diver, your most essential sense is vision. I mean, when you're diving, you want to experience the beautiful underwater world around you. See all the fish, coral, and occasionally your gauges. It's pretty imperative to possess eyeballs if you want to be a diver, but those eyeballs are useless if your mask is fogged. It's happened to the best of us. You're swimming around, having the time of your life, until suddenly you realize that everything looks kind of bland. It happened slowly, unrecognizable at first. It creeped from the edges of your mask, obscuring your vision, making everything look so gray. It's every diver's worst nightmare. The fogging effect you see on the inside of your mask is actually condensation. Water vapor from the air around your face condensing onto the cool, slick glass of your mask. They form in the shape of microscopic water droplets. This is just like how a cold glass of water on a hot, humid summer's day will get large water droplets forming around it. How can we fight this horrible effect? Well, since we know that the fogging comes from a ton of little water droplets, we need something that will make the droplets come together. To do this, we need to reduce the surface tension of the water. There are commercial products out there for this, and a bunch of home remedies. Every diver seems to have their own favorite method that they swear by, but they also do the same thing. It's whatever method you prefer. Personally, I think commercial products are a bit expensive, but they are effective. On the other hand, home remedies can be a bit sketchy. My experience with them wasn't ever really great. I personally used to use a thin layer of toothpaste applied onto my mask before a dive. It worked all right, but toothpaste is more of a pre-treatment for a new mask rather than a default. You want to pre-treat any new mask that you buy because there will be a thin layer of gunk left on the lens from the manufacturing process. If you have a glass lens, this is pretty easy. Just take some normal toothpaste and rub it all around the inner mask lens. Then rinse it off and you'll have a clean mask. You can also use a lighter to burn off the crud. Be careful to not melt the silicone though. If you have a plastic lens, well, you can't burn it because it'll kind of melt. You also don't really want to use toothpaste because the plastic is really sensitive and it might get its feelings hurt. Most plastic masks will usually actually have some kind of defog film already on them, so you're best off just leaving them alone. So what's my solution to this mess? Well, after much research and convincing from fellow divers, I finally found the perfect defog method. One that will solve all your mask fogging problems while still being easy and cheap to implement. It's pretty simple actually. You only need three things. A small spray bottle, some baby shampoo, and some good old H2O wrench. You can probably see where this is going. Baby shampoo works great at getting all the water droplets to smooth out and form a uniform moisture layer rather than a fog. He's the perfect wingman. The other droplets love him. A lot of other soaps and shampoos will work just like him. But you want to use baby shampoo because he won't sting your eyes, nor really hurt the ocean and its wildlife. It's gentle, but effective. You could just take some baby shampoo and put a few drops on your mask's lens before a dive, and it'll work just fine. But here at Free Diver John Productions, we aren't basic like that. We take things to a whole nother level. That's where the spray bottle comes in. Fill it up a third of the way with shampoo. The rest with water. Shake it up. and add some stickers, because you're just that extra. There you go, it's done. Spray it on your mask a few times before a dive, rinse it out with water, don't touch your lens after that, and enjoy fog-free diving. This solution is super cheap. It's very effective, and it'll last you a long time. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And dive safely, my friends.